Hi everyone, since a copilot is a hot topic right now, in this video, we're gonna show you how you can enable copilot inside your Dynamics organization and how can you build a simple Canvas app that uses copilot so you can ask it some questions and answers you based on the data that you have inside your Dynamics organization. Please keep in mind that copilot is in so many places. It's inside Microsoft. 365, it's inside the sales module, it's inside the Outlook, and it's also been enabled for the maker. So what we're gonna be talking about today, just build a Canvas app that has a copilot control that you and that you can ask a question and it answers you based on the data that you have. And we're gonna create a series of videos that talk about every part for copilot separately. Let me show you what to do. So first to start, or at least this is what I did. First to start by going to the Power Platform Admin Center. If you go to the Power Platform Admin Center, if you click in the gears and you go to the Power Platform settings, you should see something called Copilot Preview. What you will have to do is you click on it and you make sure it is enabled. This is number one. Number two, you also need to go to the environment that you want to try Copilot on which this is on that we're using. You need to go to settings, product, features, and you want to make sure that the copilot is also enabled in the features. A third setting that I have done, if you open your organization and you go to advanced settings, settings, administration, system settings. You should see a preview tab and it was not there before and I started to see it like two months ago. You click in the preview tab and you know, you read the license and you say that enable organization insights preview, you click yes and then okay. Again, keep in mind that Copilot is a preview feature. You might be able to see those buttons in your organization, Dynamics organization, or you might not. After that, we go to the make.power app. I pick the organization that I want to build the Copilot in. Then I previously created a solution. I'm just going to use the solution. It's called Copilot Demo. This is where I do my experiments. You can create your own, no problem. Once you open it, what you need to do is you need to build a new Canvas app. So what we're going to do is we're going to say new app, Canvas app. Let's say this is a co-pilot test for cases. Once you come over here, you want to make sure that the app settings is allowed to use co-pilot. So what you need to do is you need to click in settings, then go to upcoming features, and if you look for copilot, you should see a copilot component over here. Click on it and it's going to show you the sort of copilot component so you can insert it uh, inside your app. Just make sure it's on. Then you close. And on the screen one, what you can do, you can say insert. And here you can search for copilot. Boom, you're going to see the copilot control again. Keep in mind, it's a preview. You just need to drag the control of the copilot. So you can align the copilot in your Euro screen. And the first thing that's going to ask you that it's going to ask you for a data source. The copilot needs to read from a table in your data first. So over here, you can select the data source. And let's say that we, ne we need to read the case or you know, data for cases. So you just need to write type case over here, scroll a little bit down, down, down. Here we go. Then, oh, did it pick it up or not yet? Here we go. Then it's gonna ask you what view you need to read from. So in my case over here, let's say that we need to read from all cases. Then it's gonna ask you what fields that you care about that the copilot um, control is going to focus or, or is going to read the data from those fields. So you can just leave the defaults, which is like a title, the number, priority, origin, status, and create it. Boom, you're done. 
right now you have a Canvas app applications that has a copilot control that can read from your data. Now let's go and test the copilot to see does it really read the data and how accurate the uh, answers are. So let's run it. And because it's copilot, it knows by default that you are reading from, or it knows by itself that you are reading from the uh, cases. So it gives you a couple of questions and those are the generated question based on the generative AI that the copilot uses. As an example, it's the most common origin in the case in this table. If you click on it, and it's gonna tell you the most common origin in that table is email. So if we open our cases over here, which is Nalara, and if we sort them by origin, you will see really that the email is the most common one. So if we go back to the app and we say, what is the least common origin in this table? It's going to tell you that phone is the least common origin in that table. But if we check the cases, we will see that the really least common is the web. So we can go back and tell it that web is the least common origin in this table. Then we can ask it again, what is the least common origin in the case in the cases yeah. and it's going to tell you after that it is web once we build the app we can still publish it and let's say that it's co-pilot test for cases we're going to publish this version and it's a great thing that we have this as an app because also we can add this app on Teams. What we need to do is we need to go to make.power app. We need to pick the environment. We need to go to solutions. We need to our solution, which is a copilot demo. And where is the app that we created? A copilot, you know, test for cases. Add to Teams. Now we can select the team. You can give it details or you may not. It's up to you. Let's say add to teams. I usually open the web, so I'm going to say use web instead. So now it's going to ask you first, it's going to ask for the permission. Then it's going to ask you what team and what channel you want to add this to. So let's say that we're going to add it to a specific team. Let's pick as an example the general channel inside the CRM team. Set up tab. So it's going to ask you, do you want to post something on the channel that you have this ad? So let's say yes. You have this app, so let's say yes. So once you go to the general channel, once you go to CRM team, we will see this app over here that is using the copy control that reads from the cases table and it's reading the data, and boom, you see that this Canvas app and this control, it knows that it's reading from the cases table. That's why it's asking you what is the most common origin in that table. Once you click on it, it's gonna read to you its table. You know, it, 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 is, it is the, the email, and you can ask it how many active cases do we have in that table? And is it going to give you an answer? Again, keep in mind, Copilot is in preview. So some questions, so some answer may not be accurate. Please let me know what you think. If you have any questions or if you have any suggestions about using Copilot, feel free to DM us. Thank you. Talk to you later.